I don't know what just happened. It's all good. It's all good. Even through the highs and the lows, yeah, you know it's all good. It's all good. And we gon' make it. Oh, cause you know it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. 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 Starting the new week right. A little stiff. A little, little stiff. New week, same <laughs> That's what we're saying today. Nah. So as you've seen over the last couple of weeks, team, we've been doing the progression of the bottom up front squat into the front squat, into the quarter front squat. And that ain't changed today either. Again, progressive overload is pretty much the same thing every weekend, especially with the programming with weightlifting. You'll do that for eight to 12 week blocks and then you'll switch it up. First four weeks, we acclimatized. We went up to the top of the mountain of a uh, rep range. What we were doing is off our clean, we were doing 75% and we did four by two, four by three, four by four, four by five. Magic. Magic. Four weeks of that. Now we're in an intensification phase. Ooh. Oh! So last week, what we did was four by two, but instead of 75% of your clean, we're at 80% of our clean. Nailed it, banged it. Absolutely put it in the dirt. This week, four by three. 80% of the clean. And you can imagine what's gonna happen next week, can't you? Four by four. And then basically the front squats follow that pattern as well. Same thing with the quarter front squats. I wanna show you like real training and it's like, it's not always glitz and glam, you know? It's not always like the fancy big lifts, the massive weights. It's like the gradual progressional build up over time is what will get you strong. It's just one of those things where it may be the same thing every week for eight, 12 weeks, but by the end of it, you know, like when I, He just slapped me. Uh, a lot of the time, I really work hard on making him a little bit stronger. Uh, keep him down sometimes, really pee him off sometimes. I can understand it. Yeah, yeah. But today I felt like that slap was a good one. Uh, more for the fact that uh, I think he, he likes me. Uh, I think he likes me the weights. Most of the time. Anyway, yes, a good day. <laughs> if I was going to do this, wait five weeks ago for four sets of three, I don't think I would have been able to do it. Whereas this week, I know from last week, the volume felt good and I feel better than I do last week and you just keep going. Cool, isn't it? And it just gets you stronger. Especially the bottom up front squat. Because I feel like this is the best strength builder for your legs, for your core, for being able to brace. It adds up to your clean, thrusters, whatever because you're not using any stretch re reflex at all. You're not using any tendon reflex. It's pure, get yourself in position, brace the glutes, brace the core, drive. That's it, that's all you've got. So, Jazz has joined me today. I have, even I've joined in. Slap it, babe. Nah, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we're going on alternate minutes because couples that bottom up front squat together get stronger together. It builds a strong relationship and a strong pair of glutes. <laughs> Let's get strong. Trained by life every day, tired of way it's been going. I went through a similar phase, going through every emotion. Now it's a whole different way. I see the future approaching. Nothing can get in my way. This is my life, I control it. I got the remedy. Bring in yeah. a new source of energy. As you can see with that, I am when I hit the bottom, I'm letting the tension all go and then I'm rebracing, right? Because you can get in, it's like, you know when you do a deadlift and the first one's quite hard, but then when you rebound, sometimes it feels better. Get out of that position, re-tense, go again. Drive, fast as you can, even though it might not be moving that fast. We came to start up a riot. We came to start up a riot. It's how that we can define it. Only the strongest surviving. No, you haven't. They were good. <laughs> I'm so boring, man. It's like your parents, but time you rest. So when I've been doing this before, two minutes rest in between each set. Again, still doing two minutes rest between each set. <laughs> Sorry. See, I know it's boring. It's boring. It's boring. Strength training is boring. Boring. But this is the work that goes into, you know, those PRs, those moments where you're it's like, Monday yeah. Morning. So what I'm saying with this is like, if you don't time your rest, especially in strength stuff, 
the weight will get heavier and you'll just be like, yeah, yeah, just 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. And then before you know it, you've rested a minute longer, so you're not getting the same stimulus as you would be before. And you need to get that volume and overload in there with the right time domains to really get the most out of your training. So don't rest too long. Like strength stuff, especially when you're doing like sets and it's not loads of volume, two, three minutes max. Train by life every day, tired of it's been going. I went through a similar phase, going through every emotion. Now it's a hold of the wave, I see the future approaching. Nothing can get in my way, this is my life, I control it. I got the remedy, bring a new source of energy. So for the last few weeks I've been subbing it out as poor squats, haven't I? Yeah. Because when you travel, like there's not always the equipment for us to both do it at the same time, so I just do pause squats instead. And the difference is at the bottom of the pause, I keep and hold my position. Yeah. And it's so different. Like trying to just get out the bottom of that. Yeah. Completely different. Nice. Too many memes in my head. Aggression. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Good. How did you get that up? What? How did you get it? How did you get that up? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I was like, it's not going up. Oh, it's not coming down. <laughs> so we'll keep trying. That was so good. I just wanted to do a pause in the middle. <laughs> I was like, there's no guarantee how long I'm going to be stuck here, but we keep going. <laughs> Thankfully, it all worked out. Yeah, we don't quit. We don't quit. I don't know, I didn't pass out, to be honest. If I didn't need all my last energy to continue standing that up, I definitely would have laughed. I was laughing in my head. That, that was actually hilarious. I think I wanted to cheer, but I went silent out of disbelief of <laughs> what had just happened. I thought, you know, like Bernard's watch, the time had stopped. I was like, oh, maybe this is what it feels like with life in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, that feels stupid. Like, honestly, that feels stupid. Like, you're like, I know how heavy it is from that, from that bottom up position. It's gonna feel remotely like that and then it feels like an air squat. These damn progressions make you feel so good. <laughs> All done. No missed reps, felt good. Can't wait to add a rep to each one of those next week. It's a good feeling when you're making a little bit of progress, you know? Because it hasn't felt like that for a good few months, so we're back on. Feeling, feeling good again, feeling like I'm getting a flow. Let's go. Good morning, babe. Ready for a party? Bit of rudimental. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Confidence is coming back. I haven't hit that since before Berlin. But to be fair, I did it on tired legs because I did my four sets at two. And then I did 130, 135, 140. 135 was beautiful, 140 just lost a little bit of tightness. But you know, good, 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 good. On paper, it's quite a nice workout. Yeah, yeah. You know. that's basically what I was trying to say. What is it, five rounds, 400 <laughs> meter run? 15 overhead squats. Nancy, benchmark. Yes, so the curve run is a bit more rubbish than normal running because it blows your calves up. And it's slower. Yeah, I feel like it takes forever to do 400 meters on a curve run. I'd like to think it, I'm faster in real life. I also thought like, I feel like I look like I'm a really good runner and then when you watch it back, you're like, wow, that's 
That's just shuffling. I am the epitome of exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. I I look like I'm a speed walker, <laughs> but I feel like I'm sending it. So I was doing like two o two o five to two ten to get my four hundred, whereas on the last vlog it was like one thirty to get my four hundred on the track. <laughs> just for reference. See, so yeah, it takes longer and it takes more out your legs, I found. So then the overhead squats? They're still fine. I found them hard. I think 15's a lot, regardless of how light it is. You know, like, it feels light, but... At one moment, I didn't want to tell him, but at one moment I saw Jack do this. Yeah, that's what I was saying about the knee. <laughs> the knee's got this thing where it feels like it's stuck. And like, I went down to pick up the bar and my knee just wouldn't bend anymore. And then I have to give it like a little... <laughs> And then it's fine. And then it feels absolutely fine. <laughs> he looked like he nearly fell over the other day when he was yeah. just leaning on the box. I was like, are you all right? He's like, yeah, just my knee keeps going. It's happened like three times in the last week. Just like my knee just like locks and like gives away. So you thought it was going to be easy, but you ended up nearly having a panic attack for the first time in a while, Jess. Yeah, for the first time in ages. Just felt like so restricted on my, like, like somebody's like strangling me, but in my chest. Like no matter how hard you try and get the oxygen in, it just won't. I've literally, it's been years since I felt like that, so that was just really strange. I had to stop on two of my five runs. I've not had to stop on a run in ages. But yeah, so it didn't really go to plan, but we still got it done. Did Great. you have fun together? If you weren't there, I probably would have stopped, so. Yeah, I think I'm struggling to do workouts at the minute. Like, I like doing lifting and squatting and all of that, and then it'll get to the end of the session, and I'll be like, Jazz, come on. <laughs> Think of something. Yeah. Let's do something. You two are getting each other through it. Because Craig's still just being a stupid weightlifter. We do a little workout <laughs> at the end, most days. That's what it's all about, isn't it, team? Just getting in there, getting stuff done. You don't have to be the best in the world. Although Jazz would like to. She, she's quietly comp She's quietly very competitive. Uh -huh, yeah, if only I'd started sooner <laughs> and wasn't lazy. <laughs> I feel so good. Wow. Oh. Oh. squat so hard. Ah. And the opposite. That room was horrendous. Overhead squat's fine. It's all good.